Will this eventually stop? When we look out in the Milky Way galaxy, mm -hmm. we see large clouds of gas and dust, including things we call giant molecular clouds. And these are the objects that give birth to new stars. Mm -hmm. And we see the same kinds of objects in nearby galaxies, and we can image them in great detail with the Hubble Space Telescope or the James Webb Space Telescope. And we see clusters of thousands of stars being born now throughout the Milky Way, throughout nearby galaxies. And there are almost always some really, really luminous, very, very massive stars in these youngest clusters, mm. up to about 100 times the mass of the sun. Will this eventually stop? Well, we see galaxies where this has stopped because when galaxies crash into each other and merge, most of the gas, the hydrogen gas, the stuff out of which stars is born, much of it is liberated. It's blown out of those galaxies, okay. we're left behind with an elliptical galaxy that doesn't make many stars anymore. And so at some point it's possible, in fact likely, that every galaxy in the universe that has hydrogen in it will have lost all or most of that hydrogen. And when that happens, star formation is going to ramp down and eventually stop billions of years into the future, but not right now.